starting a new book. I just finished the Ranger's Apprentice series a few days ago, so I'm working on the next Wolves of the Beyond book. Okay, let's see. Um, where do I start? Oh yeah, my cloak is done. Yeah, that's where I start. Yeah, I finished my cloak on, um, was it Wednesday? I think it was Wednesday. Yeah, you can see these little folds here? That's the last part that you're supposed to do on this. You gotta sort of hem it. Sew it together like that so there aren't any loose threads that'll unravel the whole thing when you have it on. I tried it on a bunch of I tried it on a couple times, and it fits perfectly. The hood, too. <laughs> In fact, this is the kind of fabric where if you have a hood on, you can sort of see through it. And the hood covers my face just fine. So on Halloween day, I'm going to have quite a bit of camouflage. See this map? This is a, this is a trail map of French Creek State Park. And just over a week ago, my cousin and I used it to find a trail in the woods near my house. And it led almost all the way to the park. <laughs> it's like a 10 minute drive from my place by car. Imagine walking there through the woods trying to find the trail that's on this map, and then coming out on the road and walking the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> yeah, we were out there for hours, and um, we kept looking for vending machines, most of which wouldn't work for some reason. And the only one we found that would actually work and give us our water, well, I had water, he got soda, um, was hidden by a boat rental right behind the pool that's closed now. So good thing we went to look down there, because otherwise we would have just been dying of thirst because we were dumb enough not to bring any water. <laughs> yeah, but we did bring food, though, and we had the map to help a couple of things, like finding a phone. The ranger station was closed for a while, so we didn't think that anyone would be in there, but we went in at, like, the last minute when the sun was setting and we knew we wouldn't be able to walk home and we got a ride home from a park ranger. <laughs> we wanted to sort of freak out my parents. Because we were... Um, it was kind of like being brought home by the cops or something. <laughs> in fact, the guy even suggested pulling in with his lights on. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> yeah, I've been having some good times with my cousin. In fact, just yesterday, um, he came over and brought his bow. So we were in my yard shooting at a hay bale that I love to shoot at all the time. We shot all of our arrows at it and took pictures and put them on Facebook. <laughs> it was really funny. In fact, he did this thing that we both called his new fashioned way where he stabbed the hay bale like a maniac with my wooden knife. <laughs> yeah, we definitely we took a lot of pictures and right after that we went to the movies to see The Three Musketeers. We both liked it. It was it was epic. In fact, just a little while ago I got back from the movies from seeing Dolphin Tale. Yeah, this is the second time I've seen it, and it was a 3D version, so I went by myself since no one in my house particularly likes the 3D. <laughs> I just wanted to see it one more time before it gets out of theaters, and it was really cool. I mean, stuff didn't pop out of the screens or anything, 3D doesn't really do that anymore in the theaters, but that's okay. It gave it sort of a depth to it, which definitely is really cool, and the movie was really, um, kind of inspirational, motivating. Yeah, it was, it was just great. And the interesting thing is, besides me, only one small family was in that theater where Dolphin Tale was playing. So, it was mostly empty, but it was okay. But personally, I, I kind of like it better when it's crowded. Because there are more people, and... A lot of times there's a chance that there's someone I know there. Hardly ever in the last few months or so, but you never know. The second book in my Darastrix Arcanus book trilogy is more than halfway done. I'm on chapter 23. In fact, I just finished writing chapter 22 the other day, so in the next couple days or so I'll work on chapter 23. In fact, I might get started on it tomorrow if I come up with anything. It's gone really good so far. In fact, I've been making sketches for the third one. Um, of a gargoyle named Darastrix, a dwarf named Tundar, and I have yet to come up with a design for a demon named Kothar. 
Kothar. Yeah. I'm trying to come up with a design that's not too cliche, but like something with horns and a small sector or something. I'm still trying to come up with that, but I'm pretty sure it'll come out really good. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to let get these finished. I mean, I'm not saying I would want them done now, but I'm just really excited to keep working on them and all that. When I come up with ideas, just get them typed down as I go. Yeah, this is this is really fun. And the cool thing is, um, I know this is really off topic, but um, when I went to the movies today, I brought some of the leftover candy from last night. <laughs> yeah, me and my cousin split the candy evenly, because we got a ton of it at Wawa. We got like 13 bucks worth. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of pigs when it comes to that, but I just brought some of my extra candy so I didn't have to pay extra, since I already had two for the 3D. One short film that I'm actually planning on making with my cousin involves this little puppet. Yeah, because you can see he's got a little chain here. It's going to be something like a wrap. I mean, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to turn out, but I'm sort of going to carry on pre-production until the next time we're able to hang out and work on it together. We got a couple of things started, but I'm not going to give away anything because it's most likely going to end up here on my channel. So when it's done, you'll be able to see it then. Adios!